question 9. So let's solve for the unknown. In this case, it's the n. We do have it in the numerator and the denominator. So we're going to have to manipulate this a little bit. But first, let us just simply uh, simplify. So I'll just simplify everything that I can here. Okay, and I can add the 3 and the 4. So 3 times 3.3, 3, so we have 9.9 plus 4.0n plus, then I have 2.7 times 4, and you will notice that is 10.8. Then I can divide. <clears throat> now, um, 3 plus 4 is 7. So this would be 7 plus n. And nothing to do on the right-hand side. So I can still uh, simplify a little bit more. I can take the 9.9 .9 and add it to the 10.8. So I can um, do that terms of the addition, which is going to give me 20.7 plus 4.0n, okay, and divided by uh, 7 plus n equals to 3.19. Uh, and now, unlike some of the other examples, I have an unknown at the top and at the bottom. So you have to be um, comfortable in knowing that you can get rid of the denominator, so 7 plus n, by simply multiplying both sides by 7 plus n. So, sorry, I don't want to make this multiplications and addition. So if I multiply this side, um, I have to multiply the opposite side. And now what happens is that this 7n will cancel off this 7n right here. And all you're going to be left with is 20.7 plus 4.0n equals to 3.19 multiplied by 7 plus n. What this allows us to do is now we just have our unknown in the numerator, okay, so at the top. And now it just becomes a, a standard regular problem. So on the right hand side, you can bring in, okay, so the 319. So times uh, 7, so that would be 22.33 plus, okay, so 319 times n is just 319n. Nothing to do on the left-hand side. And now we're going to rearrange. So I'm going to take my 319, okay, and shift it over out to the left, and then I'm going to take my 20.7, and I'll shift it over to the right, okay, and then this will simply give me now, so 4.0n minus 3.19n, and then on the right hand side, 22.33 minus 20.7. Okay, so let's do the subtractions. We will have 0 0.81n and then 22.33 minus 20.7 is 1.63. And now finally, so to solve the entire thing, so we'll divide both sides. So we'll cancel that off. So now you can 
punch that into your calculator and you'll get 2.0 and so on. Okay, and that is your final answer. So the key to this example, as you're looking at it, okay, is this point right here. So you have to be aware that you can always get rid of a denominator by simply multiplying by it so that it cancels off. All right, that's all.